A couple months ago, I did a video that showed how easy it is to do laundry on a small solar setup. I was actually pretty surprised at how little washing laundry takes as far as energy and as far as the size of inverter you need. During that video, I talked a little bit of trash to people that build big solar setups and then hook up a dryer and then run their dryer on their solar. I was like, hey, you can just hang it out on the line. It's a much simpler. I thought, wait a minute, am I really being fair? I've never actually ran a dryer on solar. So what I thought I would do is actually run a dryer on solar and see, is it even worth doing? Maybe I'm wrong. So what I did is I ran a 30 amp 240 line into my load center that runs on my solar. So this is hooked up to my 10,000 watt solar setup that has a 4,000 watt split phase inverter. It's a sun gold power. It's a nice setup. I thought this should be enough to run it. And if it's not, maybe my janitry solar can do it. But that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt because I'm going to tear it all down from my workshop and bring it over. But I thought, you know what? Let's see. I have no idea how much energy it's going to take or how much power it's going to take. So this is the story of my attempt to run a dryer on my mid-size solar setup. Hang out. Let's see what happens. Go. <laughs> All right, so that did not work. So what I did is I removed the Sun Gold power and I replaced it with my Gentry Solar. Now I know for you it's only been a matter of seconds, but it took hours to take that thing out and to put this thing in because this thing weighs like 100 pounds and it was a real pain in the butt to do. I had to have my wife help me. Anyway, this one's in. This is a 6,000 watt split phase 240 inverter. It can do up to 18,000 surge. So now, we're gonna see if it can run my dryer. Let's see what happens. No problem. Let's come back over here. So you can see it's at almost 80%. So there's a lot coming out over 4,600 watts. So it just that Sun Gold power just wasn't big enough. It could do 4,000 watts, but as you can see, that dryer is taking almost 4,600 watts. So I needed to get a bigger inverter. So there's nothing against that Sun Gold power. I mean, it can surge, but you can see that's not surge. That's running usage is 4,600 watts. So I needed a bigger inverter. Fortunately, I had it. This thing is bulletproof. It's ran great for three, almost four years. So we'll see how well it runs my dryer. Well, so there you go. Yes, you can run it on a medium-sized solar setup, but why would you want to? So let's go back over this. The Sun Gold Power, which can do 4,000 watts continuous and I think eight or 12,000 watt surge, it just couldn't handle it. It was just too small. And that's because it that dryer takes 4,600 watts watts to run, not surge, but to run. So my Genetry Solar, which is a 6,000 watt beast, it can handle it, but even that was pushing it about 80%, and it's gonna stress out my batteries, and it's gonna run them down. I mean, that's a 10,000 watt hour battery bank, and I'm gonna be able to do two loads of laundry. So again, yes, you could do it. Why would you want to? You'd have to build a massive, massive system to do something this silly, when you could just run a clothesline in your backyard and hang your clothes outside. So it's easy to wash laundry on an off-grid setup. It is kind of difficult and kind of silly to dry it on an off-grid solar setup. So that's my experiment. These are my results. If anyone out there has any questions or maybe you've done an experiment like this, love to hear your feedback. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to everyone soon.